Hi there and welcome back to the Der Grenadier YouTube channel for another video. Today we're going to talk about the standard field gear of the German soldier in World War II, how it all fits together and we're going to take a look at the Reibert and see how that's going to help us put together our equipment. Now, right here in front of you is the most common field equipment that the German army used in the Second World War. Uh, this is what everybody had at the very least, uh, with a few minor exceptions maybe, uh, and some variations in equipment. But this is basically what everybody had, or a version of it. Uh, there are some things that are not here, uh, specialized equipment for example, uh, and let's say... Uh, flare guns, uh, pioneer packs, that sort of stuff. But that's not something that everybody had. This is what everybody had, so you have to know how this fits together when you first go reenacting. Uh, and everybody, every single one of you, is going to have this. Now, we are also going to use the Reibert. Uh, this is a reproduction where I labeled everything. Get one for yourself or an online version and see what's in there, very important. And we are going to look at page 69. What page 69 shows uh, are the Anzuge, so the various outfits, so to say, that the German soldier could have worn. And we are going to see how this fits together according to the Reibert. Now the first one that we are going to look at uh, is the most basic version. And there are three that are very much alike. And that's going to be the Dienstanzug. So the second to the left, the right anzug, to the right, and the Ausge anzug, uh, second to the right. And these are very similar in the sense that the basic equipment that you're going to wear is more or less the same. The variations in these outfits are the uh, uniform, so that depends on the Waffenrock or the regular field uh, outfit, which is what most of you are going to wear all the time. Um, and I would like to add that as an Ausge Anzug on an event, if you ever need one, you could use your regular uh, Dienst Anzug. Uh, that's going to be more than sufficient for the basic reenactor. So what this basically means is that you are going to wear your standard belt. Doesn't matter which model you have, but you're going to wear your belt all the time with every Anzug. And you are going to add your Koppelschloss which you need to keep your belt together and you're going to add your bayonet somewhere over there and this is the most basic version of the field equipment that you are going to have to wear uh, every morning when you come together as a group uh, you are going to wear this outfit together with your field cap or with your helmet all the way over there depending on uh, what your unit commander wants. So this is the most basic version. Very simple, very easy. You can slide the uh, bayonet on from both sides, but if you do it from the right side, you have to take off the Koffelschloss. Now the next ones that we're going to talk about are these, the Wachtanzug and the Paradeanzug. And the difference between these two outfits is the uniform that you're going to wear your standard issue uh, uniform or the Waffenrock. And most people don't have a Waffenrock uh, and most people are not going to do um, well the official duties that this is related to. Uh, so we can basically um, ignore that one. And the next one uh, that's most important is the Veldanzug, which is everything you have except for your tornister or backpack. And then you have the Sportanzug. Uh, but most people don't have sporting gear, so we're also going to ignore that one for a little bit. Uh, so the Veldanzug, everything you have, um, is something that you are going to wear quite often. Uh, but there are a few steps in between which we are going to over. Uh, we are going over first. Uh, so, the next most basic combination of things is going to be this. You are going to wear your ammo, ammo pouches with every other 
outfit. Um, a combination of outfits, except for the uh, uh, morning appel. And from this point onwards, you can add your Y straps. Um, I wear them basically all the time. I really enjoy wearing them. They are quite comfortable, uh, but you don't need those. Make sure that if you don't use your wire straps, you use belt hooks. Um, you don't have to, but I personally like having something that supports all my equipment. And something that you're going to wear from this point onward uh, is also going to be your gas mask canister. Uh, but we're going to leave that to the side. You basically always have to keep your gas, ma gas mask canister with your gas mask on you, uh, except for when your group and feeler says that you don't have to wear it. Uh, and you can just ask him what he wants, but basically all the time you are going to be wearing your gas mask. The next most basic item that you're going to keep on here is your bread bag, uh, which you are going to need uh, to take some food with you and some mittens or some gloves or some scarves, uh, something into the field uh, and you're going to use this one for that and something that you're going to take with you if you use your bread bag is also going to be your vet flusher. So this is the next most basic combination of items and this is something that you see in the field quite often because this is quite lightweight, but you can still take something with you, uh, which is not possible if you don't have the bread bag. So now we have three items left, uh, which we are going to add more or less at the same time. Um, and that's because of the situations where you're going to use these items. Um, so that's going to be the mask kit, the zelbaan and uh, your shovel. Uh, and you're always going to take these with you when you go on a trip for longer than 24 hours into the field or something in that direction. Um, so we are going to add these now. And the shovel and bayonet are going to go together like that. The mask kit is of course going to go on your grab bag. And the zaubaan is going to be added either on the belt or on the loops on top here on the wire straps. And as an additional, additional piece of information, we have three different uh, types of straps. And that's going to be your mask kit strap, which is considerably, considerably longer than the other straps, because the mask kit is quite large. Then you have tornister straps, which have this additional strap, which uh, allows you to strap it or your equipment onto things uh, easier. And then you have uh, regular equipment straps, uh, which are, for example, the ones here on the tornister. And these are essentially shorter mask kit straps. And as an additional piece of information, I'm also going to show you how to fold your zelbaan. Uh, of course, it might seem a little bit difficult at first because it's a triangle, which is not very easy to fold. But there's this little trick. Uh, so you're going to take the points and fold those inwards. Uh, and because uh, you might all be idiots, uh, this is basically a square, which is easier to fold, of course. So what you're going to do, you're going to fold both sides inwards, and then you're going to do that again. And from this point, you're going to do something similar to this. It doesn't always have to be pretty, but it works. Now, we are going to put everything together on the belt. Uh, you can usually do it from that side, uh, but for some people that's not going to work depending on uh, what kind of equipment you have bought. Uh, so we're going to do everything from this side, the buckle side, which is going to be easier. So your uh, ammo pouches have these loops on the back uh, and it 
might seem very easy but there's a cer certain um, order in which these need to go on uh, and that's quite important because that's going to determine what you're going to be able to take with you uh, this your shovel and bayonet combination is sort of an exception uh, if you wear the bayonet uh, separately you're going to slide it on and it's going to end up over there but if you want to add your shovel you are going to have to take everything else off again because these uh, loop in together so the bayonet is just going to go in there and you're going to loop these uh, in uh, at the same time and this does not mean that you have to take your shovel with you all the time as well because you can just take your shovel out and then you don't have to take that with you let these go on together like that the next item is going to be your bread bag And of course the hook in the middle also needs to be hooked in to support the weight of the th things that you have in here. Uh, and then the last ammo pouch. And your bell buckle goes on last on the size that you need have it uh, and from here on you're going to add your um, canteen you don't have to take the cup with you all the time uh, especially not if you're just gone for a few hours uh, that will make it easier to drink out of it but what you are going to have to do is loop it in uh, at the bottom here because otherwise um, it's on there uh, quite dangerously loose and you might uh, lose it on the way uh, what I usually push you, usually do with my um, mask kit is strap this on first and if you don't you take the mask kit with you you just loop it like that uh, and the straps on there just in case you need to strap this on quickly uh, but if you are going to take it with you you can very easily just loop this on and there you go your mask kit now uh, the next thing that I'm going to add are my wire straps the middle uh, hook of your wire straps is always going to go in between the hook and the left loop of your bread bag and then of course these will hook on the hooks in the back and you can tuck this flap away behind your belt if that's easier now you can strap your uh, saldan on these top loops but I usually wear it down here but because we're also going to add our tornister uh, we are not going to put it there we are going to assume that it's already packed in here uh, just to make it easier but to demonstrate how these straps work, you have to put your Zeldbahn on first and then you just loop these onto the belt and they are on there but you can easily take it off uh, if you don't need it. The gas mask canister is going to be worn over your right shoulder. Uh, and then this loop will hook in on the right of the hook of your um, bread bag. But if you have your Zeldbahn here, you can also hook this somewhere on the uh, loops of your shovel uh, because that space is going to be taken. Most of the time this is not the case, uh, but you can 
uh, do that. Now, we have all our equipment on here. How are you going to put this on? Well, uh, if you don't have the wire straps, it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. But usually what you're going to try to do is hook the belt buckle in first and then try to lift it into your belt hooks if you have those. Uh, if you don't have belt hooks but you do have the wire straps, uh, what you're going to do, you're just going to put it on like it is a backpack. Make sure that the straps are in between your st shoulder straps and the collar of your tunic. And then you start on the back with hooking in uh, the belt on your belt loops if you have those. The belt hook on this side is going to go just left of the uh, right strap of your bread bag. Uh, so you have maximum support of your bread bag, which is usually going to be, be packed with stuff. And on this side, uh, according to the Rybert, you're going to have to loop in the belt hook in between the um, bayonet strap and the right strap of your shovel carry, uh, which is quite hard to do. But if you uh, manage to do that, that's okay. If you don't manage to do that, just put the hook uh, all the way to the right and make sure that your bayonet and shovel are basically left on your body, on the left of your body, because that's easier uh, in the field because your bayonet and shovel will just fall to the side of you onto the ground if you lie down. If you don't do that, it's going to be flopping around uh, quite annoyingly, uh, according to my opinion at least. Uh, so I would suggest doing it that way. And the hooks on the front are just going to go in between the loops of your ammo pouches and you hook them in. Uh, and these straps right here, uh, they just uh, dangle over there somewhere, just loosely. And if you did everything right, it's all going to be in the right place. Uh, now, your gas mask canister. Uh, as I said, over your right shoulder. And then you can hook it in right there. Very easy, very simple. Uh, and it's not even that much in the way. But if you are going to wear your Zeldbaan, in that place or you're going to wear a rucksack or a tornister as i said you can also undo it and loop it in somewhere over here if that's easy uh, do it in such a way that it can get loose uh, if you don't hook it in somewhere this is going to be flapping all over the place and when you fall down or lie down it might get in the way and you can break a rib or something like that uh, so don't do that, please. Now, there is one piece of equipment that I don't have on yet, uh, which is my tornister. Um, and that's something entirely else. It's quite difficult to get it on without help, uh, which is annoying, uh, but that's how it is. If you put something onto your Y straps, uh, considering it's a backpack, a rucksack, something in that direction, it's going to be hard to do. But there are ways to do it. If you don't have help, um, I'm afraid there's only one option, and that is taking off the wire straps and putting it on like I did before with the equipment on itself, like it is a rucksack, and then hooking back in these two on the front and the middle one on the back. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. So we have our tornister right here, looped in like it's already on our back, onto our wire straps. And as you can see, I don't have my wire straps on anymore, they're over here. And we are going to do the same thing that we did earlier. We are just going to try to put it on like it is a regular backpack. Uh, and it's not that easy, but it is doable. Um, 
I'm going to do the ones on the front first because this rucksack is uh, well, torn the story. This is one is empty, but if there's a weight in it, it's going to pull down, um, and it's very hard to hook the hook on the back uh, properly if it's doing that. So that's two. And now I need to find a strap on the back over here. But it's on. <laughs> and of course, uh, you can wear your uh, gas mask canister together with this. And it's just going to go on the side here like I had it before. Uh, but I'm not going to try to put it on again because it's a lot of work. The only thing that's missing is of course your helmet. And we are ready to go marching to the front. And that's going to be all for now. I hope this was an informative video. I hope you learned something. This is of course a video for beginning reenactors, uh, but I try to make it as interesting as possible. So please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have tips or questions, please ask them down below and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.